Welcome to the fourth episode in our series on technology addiction. In this episode, we will be dealing with various problems associated with social media addiction. Come, let us meet our expert. Yes, social media can also become a addiction, though it is still not a mental health condition. But social media provides user a opportunity to get connected with number of people. And sometimes this need to get connected with people makes them or predispose them for excessive use of social media. In some of the cases, it may have following characteristics, which will include craving, which means continuous desire to be on social media platform. Second is loss of control. Once they start use of social media, they don't know when to log out. So sometimes it goes for hours together. Third is coping. They use social media as a method of coping because sometimes nowadays people don't talk with each other even though they are in distress, but they will like to chat on social media platform. So that's where it become a coping. Fourth is compulsion because of these characteristics their use become recurrent or repetitive or become habitual and last is consequences because of this they develop social consequences they develop physical psychological and other occupational issues also so it's out of 5c if people have four or all five in their lifestyle due to use of social media then they are developing problematic or addictive use of social media bad for health because it has a tendency to become a habit and once the person become habitual it will start affecting his or her day to day functioning social life and other domains of life and especially we have seen because of excessive use users develop one particular phenomena called fomos that is called fear of missing out something means like they want to know everything on whatever is happening on online platform and that tendency to know everything on the online platform makes them to have a repetitive use of social media and which may manifest as fear of missing out something. Now another uh, modality of concern which is coming is like social media has become a modality for expression of emotions because people do keep changing their status and the status more or less reflects their mood states. Pleasant, if they are in a pleasant mood state, the pleasant status will come and unpleasant status will go into the different way and which we nowadays terms as status psychopathology. So these are some of the concerns which we person may experience and which need attention. Uh, I would start with first biological symptoms because social media use especially at bad time or during nights uh, delay the user's sleeping time. People do lose around 60 to 90 minutes or more than that because they are busy or active on social media during bad time. Secondly, like sometimes procrastinations also happen for use of social media. People procrastinate other important activities because they want to spend time on social media platforms. And because both are the things do contribute toward excessive use, so it definitely affects the user's physical health, which are commonly seen in terms of body pain, backache, or eye strains. In psychological symptoms, we have seen definitely sometimes because of psychological issues, people spend a lot of time on social media. And sometimes, since they are not doing very good on social media platforms, because they are not getting likes, they are not getting followerships, they do develop certain psychological issues. So there is a bi-directional relationship and each individual has to be screened whether the, which state pre precedes the uh, manifestation. And beside this, it also affects person's social relation because they are getting connected through social media so they don't feel a need to talk or interact with people in offline world, as well as in which definitely impact their social capital. Till now we are talking about money capital, but now we should talk about social capital. Because of social media use, people know very few people in the offline world, but many in the online world. And then sometimes people also say these online friends also will help them out. But when we have seen 
all online contacts doesn't get convert into social support also so that's another many consequences that people are losing out their support also because they are not getting connected to people in offline world and definitely it has impact on occupational and family functions uh, it's addictive because it also helps the person to fulfill his or her psychological needs broadly it includes need for acknowledgement and need for affiliation when i'm saying need for acknowledgement because whatever they post and whatever they chat on online platform they get immediate acknowledgement from others so which reinforce their desire to re remain on social media platform secondly since they are not interacting in the offline world that way the social media platform also fulfill the need for affiliation mm -hmm. need to get connected so and as well as to get approval from others yes there is a treatment for social media addiction the first thing which include acknowledgement person or the user has to acknowledge his or her excessive use of social media use so that can be done if it, they can see if their social media use is affecting their lifestyle and if they can relate those lifestyle disturbance to the social media use and make a plan to change it once they acknowledge it then the second stage come which is called action which means where they have to take certain actions to work on their social media use the first advice and the common advice is don't use social media while you are on the while you are sleeping or while you are going for the bed don't sleep with social media use it will affects your sleep initiation second is bring social media fasting in your lifestyle when i'm saying fasting all of us are familiar with fasting but now we have to bring this fasting for social media use at least for a certain period of the time for each day if you can remain away from social media use and engage yourself in other activities will help you out to develop your control over social media use third is don't let social media use become a method of coping if you want to feel good if you want to interact interact with people in the offline world also which will help you out to have more support and which will also help you out to know more about them fourth you also have to see whether is there any association between social media use and any psychological issues which could be stress which could be anxiety or which could be sometimes people do have a issue in interacting with the people in public or face to face and sometimes these kind of people will also be on social media so if you have these kind of issues psychological treatments are available for these kind of problems you don't have to use social media to manage these issues and spend more time in the family and work prioritize your goal for your career prioritize your goal for your occupational and academic functions social media is a can be addressed and can be managed and if you have social issues related to social media use or people around you have social media excessive use or addictive use you can bring them or you can visit us to the nimhans facility for social media de addiction its facility is called shut clinic service for healthy use of technology it runs at niman center of well being btm layout bangalore karnataka india you can visit us monday to saturday from 9 to 4:30 this concludes the fourth episode in our series on technology addiction in this episode we learned about different aspects of social media addiction we will be back with our next episode namaste <music>